Queensland politics fires up this week with Parliament sitting for the first time since the state election and already conflict is brewing. Opposition leader Deb Frecklington has revealed to the ABC that the LNP is unlikely to support the government's nominee for Speaker. I spoke with Ms Frecklington a short time ago about her plans and priorities for 2018. Deb Frecklington, What's your top priority this year? Well, look, first of all, the top priority is to hold this Labor government to account. I mean, they have been elected back in and it's time for them to get to work. So priority certainly is making sure that they're getting going. And, and we've got some great solutions for them. Happy to offer up some solutions with some of the issues that are going on around Queensland. Such as? Well, for example, crime. Massive issue. Uh, there's also a big divide between the southeast corner and the regions. And I'm really keen to make sure we end that divide. Uh, we've got congestion issues down here in, in Brisbane uh, and of course I'm always and have been talking about ice. What is this divide and how do you end it? Well I think the divide quite simply is that anyone outside of Brisbane or the southeast corner just feel like they've been left behind by this government and rightfully so. I mean we have really high youth unemployment in areas. Uh, we're looking at what's happening in Townsville and the lack of support uh, between opening up uh, the Galilee Basin there, for example. We need to make sure that money is being spent on infrastructure, on roads and bridges. You've got a problem in the regions too, haven't you, in that you only have two MPs north of Bundaberg. The LNP performed very poorly at the election. How are you going in terms of uh, what you called rebuilding the faith in the LNP? Well, look, we've had a really busy uh, couple of months. I think it's been about three months since the election and there hasn't the Parliament hasn't sat yet. So we've been doing everything we can to get out and about and, and listen to those Queenslanders. We have a really strong showing in Western Queensland and country Queensland, uh, but we really do need to earn that faith back from people in North Queensland. How are you going to take the fight up to Anastasia Palaszczuk? What's your approach going to be? Well, look, I'm really keen to make sure that uh, she stops blaming other people and just gets on and does the job she's paid to do. I mean, a good opposition is there to hold the government to account. And look, I'm not a career politician. I'm, you know, with me, what you see is what you get. So sure, I'm going to make some mistakes. Uh, but what I am really keen to make sure 